today's video I'm going to show you how to create a little shell using a water soluble pen. So water soluble means anything that will dissolve in water when water is added to it. So it's a really nice way of creating shading. I'm just going to do a little shell drawing. I'm just going to out do the outline to start with just to give me again a bit of confidence with what I'm doing. I just find the blank page is a bit terrifying. So if you can start and do something on it first, even if it's just a little scribble, it just gives you that little bit of confidence to think, actually, I can do this. So there's my little shell. Let's just draw a little bit more there. Okay. So that's my outline. And I'm going to just show you how to apply the pen onto it to create the shapes. Um, so I'm just going to use a little bit of a pen here. So this is a fine liner. And it's um, just test if you're not sure what's uh, if it's waterproof or not because you'll soon know <laughs> it will dissolve under the water. So I'm just creating some little, almost like a little, uh, you know, like an ice cream, you know, and it's layered into a cone. That sort of effect where you've got tiers of shapes, like little triangles, kind of coming together there. And I'm going to bring these down here and coming across the shell. So I'm just sort of sketching out a shape, sort of carrying on these tiered type effects. I'm going to start doing some little features coming off, little, like little fingers on the shell. And they're slightly different shapes from each other. Okay. And what I love about these pens is you can just glide them around. You can sort of make sure that they're just moving across. No line is a bad line with these because you can just keep going with the continuous line kind of making more, you know, to the to the drawing than meets the eye. I think it's essential that you, um, you know, you, you kind of develop a confidence with your pen that you, you don't worry so much about what you do. It's just about doing it and it's just about playing with the material. So we're coming over here now. We're going to do some little, again, some little like finger shapes coming off. Just tracing my way around. Little lines coming off like that. There we go. And I want to just do a little bit of work on this side of the shell. So I'm just going to do, again, a bit of a continuous line coming down the shell, down here. And I love doing repeated lines over the top. It just gives it a little bit of um, density and depth. Let's also do some lines in here. So this is just a bit of a scribbly line. It just gives you that depth inside the shell too. Let's go the other way. So the more you put on, the more kind of ink you're going to have to work with when you put the water on. So it's quite, quite a good idea to build this up a little bit. Put a bit more in here so it looks really dark. And all I'm doing is scribbling. Okay, let's put a little bit around these edges as well. Just a little bit of scribble, because you'll see in a minute, they have a bit of a magic quality. So round and round, just, just do a few little bits here as well. Okay, that's quite a nice little drawing, little sketch, just a quick, quick three minute sketch. And I get my water on my brush. Make sure you don't have too much on there, just a little bit. And then I just use my water to coax the paint, uh, coax the pen out like a paint. So I'm just using the pen to help me shade it in. It's a really nice, easy, simple technique, but it's so effective when you just use your pen as a, as a form of a little palette, like a little paint box. So you're just using your paint um, from your pen, basically creating a pigment. Look what happens when we do this bit here. It's really nice. Um, you can clean your brush between um, dips as well so that you don't crack, carry too much of the ink around with you. So you can make it a bit lighter in certain areas as well. So it's quite nice to leave some white bits um, on here. You don't have to do everything. So there's just a nice little shell. And you know, notice it goes a little bit greeny in pigment. Um, and then once it's dried, you can rub off all your little lines on there as well, so you can get rid of those. So there you go, there's a nice little pen um, 
shell using a bit of water to help with the shading and uh, make sure you're using a water soluble pen or you can supplement with watercolours or something if you want to as well and please share what you do on our Facebook group we'd love to see what you do so it's on the Create Art School Facebook club and uh, we'd love to see what you do on there.